Hi everyone. In this lesson I want to talk about how you can add two functions graphically. Now I have a function f that uh, is 2x minus 1. This is the function that's going to double whatever you put into it and then subtract 1. And then I have another function g that's equal to negative 3x plus 4. Now I could of course add these these uh, just algebraically. I could I could look at the function f plus g of x which is f of x plus g of x and f of x is 2x minus 1 plus uh, the g of x is the negative 3x plus 4 so uh, this new function f plus g of x it's the sum of these two functions I just combine my like terms here negative x plus 3 all right, now I want to look at doing that same thing graphically. So let's go ahead and graph the function f of x is 2x minus 1. So this has a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of 2. So that would be a rise of 2 and a run of 1. And so I can get some points on here, and then I can connect those dots with my handy-dandy uh, graph maker here, if I can find it. Okay, so I think that'll look something like this. All right, and then let's do another uh, graph uh, g. The function g of x is negative 3x plus 4, so this has a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of negative 3. That'd be a rise of negative 3 and a run of 1. Rise of negative 3, run of 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, graph that one as well. So that's going to look like this. And let's make that a nice red color. And I'll just move it down here a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now notice that when I'm adding functions together, I am uh, adding their y values. So if I have uh, f of x, uh, plus g of x, f plus g of x. Notice I'm adding the, the f's uh, and the, 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 this is the output, the y values. So if I come over here and I look, for example, at, uh, let's, let's start right here at x equals negative 1. Notice at negative 1, your, your uh, f function, the blue function, is, is negative 3. Your y value is negative 3, whereas up here, your, uh, on the, the red function, g of x, at negative 1, is going to be up here, I think that's 7, right? 3, 6, it's up there about 7. So if I were to take the 7 that this one is and the negative 3 that that one is and add them together, that would actually give me 4, okay? So I'm going to put a little dot right there. If I uh, look at uh, this value right here and x is equal to 0, notice the red function is equal to 4, but my uh, blue function, the f function, is negative 1, and 4 and negative 1 is is 3. If I move over here at this value, uh, x equals 1, at x equals 1, notice that the y value for each of the red and blue functions is 1. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So if I add those together, it would give me 2. If I move over here to x equals 2, if I wanted to know what f plus g of 2 is, then that would give me, well, the, the f function is 3, and the g value is negative 2, and 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. You can see that as I add these together, piecewise, they're all lining up nicely. If I come over here, I'll bet the next point's going to land right here. And sure enough, you can see the, the blue function, the f function is 5, and the red function is negative 5. And if I add those together, I get 0. All right, so if I go ahead and, and uh, connect the dots there, that will give me the graph of the uh, sum of those two functions. Let's make it green. There we go. And what you'll notice is that the equation of this graph, notice you can read it right off the graph, the y-intercept is 3 and your slope is negative 1. So this is y equals negative x plus 3. Uh, negative 1x is your slope, negative x plus 3. And notice that that is the same thing that I got over here. 
when I added them together algebraically. Okay, so we're just showing the relationship uh, between adding a function graphically and how you would do the same thing adding it um, uh, adding it algebraically here and adding it graphically over here. Okay.